I welcome the Motive Power Mondays on the Farland Terminal Railroad Facebook page. I'm here to announce that I am no longer going to build a GP7 for the layout. Instead, I'm going to be building a Milwaukee Road U23B. Why, you say? Well, let's take a look. Built by General Electric in 1973, the Milwaukee Road U23Bs were originally numbered 4800 through 4804. By September of 1974, these units had been renumbered 5000 through 5004, numbers they would retain until their retirement in the early 80s. These units rode on a special floating bolster style truck known as an FB2. They were powered by a 12-cylinder 7 FDL prime mover, creating 2,250 horsepower. Some of the external features found on the Milwaukee Road's U23Bs included a firecracker antenna, three-chime horn, the traditional Milwaukee Road straddle light beacon, and the Prime PM733 electric bell. These units were also not equipped with dynamic brakes, which makes them ideal for secondary use on branch lines and short lines in an aftermarket sense. Unfortunately, these units did not make it to the end of the Milwaukee Road. Units 5001 and 5002 were scrapped at the Milwaukee Road shops in October of 1984. Units number 5000, 5003, and 5004 were returned to General Electric in 1986 and scrapped. However, lucky enough for the 5004, the Farland Terminal came along and purchased the unit prior to it being returned to General Electric, and it has become Farland Terminal's sole locomotive. The build of the Milwaukee Road 5004 will be made using a Gilmar U23B flat brass kit, as seen here in this photo. In upcoming Motive Power Mondays, we will learn more about what is going to be used for powering the unit, the type of trucks, the side frames, the overall build of the car body, as well as the DCC system and how the proto throttle will be instituted in order to make the unit as prototypical as possible. I look forward to sharing how this build goes with everyone. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep them on the shiny side.